In this problem, we're trying to find out the sine of delta S. So we need to remember that delta S is talking about the change in entropy. S stands for entropy, which is essentially randomness, disorder. I don't know why it's S, but it is. So each of these situations, is it creating more randomness or less randomness? So water is boiled on a stove. So you have liquid water in a nice pot. It's in one place. And now it is being boiled, so it's a gas all throughout the room. So the water has a lot more places it can be. This is more random. So delta S is going to be positive. It is more random. Perfume is sprayed throughout a room. So you have a room. And initially the perfume is in one area. And now it is spread throughout the room. So this has more randomness to it. It can be anywhere in the room. Here it's located in just one spot. So delta S is going to, again, be positive. Iron is cooled. So you have a bunch of atoms of iron, which are really hot. And we know that when atoms are hot, they have more energy. So even though this is a solid, they have more vibrational energy, and they can move around more. Whereas when they're cooler, they move a little bit less. And so as a result, this is less random. There's less places for it to be able to move around to. So delta S is going to be negative. So those are the just general things. Now we're looking at actual equations. Sometimes you can tell easily, sometimes you can't. Two things you're looking for. You're looking at number of moles of particles, and you're looking at phases. So four, we have a single solid becoming two gases. So first, you have one becoming two, so that's more random. And the fact that they're becoming gases is even more random. So delta S is going to become positive in this case. The next one, you have two chemicals becoming three. So that might make us think it's positive. But in addition, one of these is a gas. So that's even more of a sign that it's positive. Gases have a lot of entropy. And so aqueous and liquid, it's sort of a wash. It's hard to tell. But the gas is sort of the giveaway here. All right, next. I've got two NAs and one Cl becoming two NaCl. So I have three particles becoming two. But in addition, I had a gas here, which is now going away. So that means that my randomness is decreasing. Delta S is negative. Lastly, here I have two particles also becoming three. And in addition, one of them is making a gas. So delta S is going to be positive. So that is all you really do to figure out um, the sign of entropy. Sometimes you can get a pretty good sense from the equation. Sometimes it's really too close to call, and you would actually have to look up the values of these chemicals. Um, but if you're asked to do this just by looking at it, you really probably wouldn't have any that fit that sort of category. They should all be relatively obvious. So that is just about that. So until next time, I am Derek Tanova. Have a delightful day.